Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. On the last day of spring. And we gotta take care of our chickens once again. But, uh... We got some cash. Yes, we do. Because today... We should be buying our big grass field down below. That's the plan. And I'm sticking to it. Uh, we probably will dip into the loan. Or dip in and make a loan. Because we don't have one, but... We should be able to pay it off re relatively quick. The grass should be close to being ready to be cut. If not today. Well, not today, in today's episode, but in the in-game day. But I do want to buy it before that farmer cuts his grass. I don't think they really cut their grass. But in case they do, I want to make sure we get that harvest, not them. Not to be kind of rude that way. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I want that we need like we need the cash after doing so yeah so that field down there we'll cut it road up bring the grass to the BGA and uh, get some silage and I'll probably do conveyor belts to fill uh, what is it the silo king what's it called I think it's called the silo king kind of rolling low on wheat for our chickens, but we do have barley and other grains that we can feed them. And hopefully we won't be, we ought to feed them, what, one, two, three more times? Probably around the fall harvest. Somewhere around there. And also with the chickens, before I forget about it, instead of going a full year on the eggs and then, uh, doing it to where they're breeding. We're just going to do it six days in the spring. Which is just about up. So before I call it quits at the end of the day, in, in game day, we'll collect the eggs and we'll see how much we make money off that, which it will be rather decent. And then the summertime we'll put some straw in there and we'll let them breed. And we'll see how many chickens we get and see how much chickens go for. And then we'll do some math and see if you make more money by selling eggs. Or by breeding chickens. It's kind of a win-win for us in a way because we'll breed some chickens. We'll see what the total is. We'll keep the chickens anyways. We're just going to see how much the chickens sell for and how many we get from the original 100 that we have. But obviously the more chickens you have... I would assume if it's like sheep and cows, the more chickens you have, the faster they'll breed. I would assume it's probably done the same way. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Okay, I want to go up here. Because we are going to sell this loading wagon as it is. Because basically the grass field up here that we own over there... Uh, we're going to make hay with that most of the time. So we're not going to be collecting grass and trying to make silage. We'll have that field down there. And this machine is not going to be big enough to handle that. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash it up. Bring it down and sell it. I probably don't have to, I don't think washing it makes a difference. But, you know. I think it's kind of clean to begin with, but... We're doing it anyways. And you know what? Since we're here with the John Deere, it doesn't really need to wash as well. But like I said, we're here. We'll wash it off. Also, our Volvo is parked up in the forestry area with a load of logs. So, by selling this and the little logs, we should be somewhere around 625. So, we're not going to have to take out that big of a loan. I think, well, we may have taken out a bigger loan than I think because I got to buy the other forage wagon at some point, right? So I want to drive this down there and I'll meet you down there in just a second. Alright, here we are at the store. Let's drop this puppy off. Hop out. So what do we get this for? This like 20? 
14. All right. It is what it is. Uh, we do have to head over to the cows. I just did a quick check. The cows are in need of a straw bale or two. We have that. <laughs> we have that material down here. I do have the pallet fork on here, and that should work just fine. Although I do believe the bale spike... Uh, well, okay, it's not down here. I thought it was. But this should work just as well. And then probably, like I said, we'll re require two of these. So if we just look... Yeah, they were, they were pretty much borderline. I'm actually surprised my glance mod doesn't tell me that the cows need straw. So how does that do? Oh, wow. Yeah, well, let's give them one for now. <laughs> that should be fine. Uh, their health is up to 75%, which is great. Uh, the sheep, 91%. We're up to 83 sheep, actually. So they're doing rather well. The cow's health is doing rather well. Everyone's doing well. Alright, so how... I'm just trying to figure out how to get to this field. I always just teleport to the field sign. I see a gate there on that side. I see a gate here as well. Is there another one? I'm going to cut across the road tracks because I can. Uh, because we are, we'll be wanting to go this way. Because the BGAs are on that corner. Okay, that brings us to this field here. All right, so we're going to have these gates open. And we're going to just leave them open. They get knocked in the head when they open because the BGA is just right around that corner. So when we do mow the field, we'll probably bring our equipment out this way. Also, we're not going to fertilize these field, this field before we mow it, though, that's for sure. 709 is what we do need. So, probably tomorrow in-game day, the grass might be ready. But let's leave our John Deere here. And we'll teleport up to the not-so-much-of-a-forest anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if we go to this page right here, you can see... Uh, yeah, day before I sold nuts wool wood right here. I sold two hundred thirty one thousand dollars worth of wood You can see I've been selling quite a bit of wood actually the past few days I think this is from the fields that I'm trying to make into one That's where that's from but these numbers here are probably from all down here. I Do see that the Volvo is getting us a little bit low on fuel But we should have plenty up at the the, the farm as it is but now I gotta drive this all the way down to the quote-unquote sawmill. So I'll take me a second or two. So I'll meet you down there. We'll sell. Oh, it's usually like thirty-five to forty thousand dollars worth of wood. But at least it'll get us over six hundred grand. So I'm not gonna borrow too much money to buy the field. But we do have to buy some extra equipment. Uh, that may not be today, but I at least want to buy the field today. But like I said, I'll see you down there in a second. Rolling into the quality timber. They've probably been rather happy with us the past day or so, getting all this wood. Puts, you know, gives them more work to do.
All right, give me that cash. Thank you very much. I have enjoyed doing the lumbering up in the forest because this hour loading trailer just loads them up so much easier than those other trees. I love the way the other trees look when they're in the ground, but as for cutting them up and trying to load them, oh, what a pain in the butt. Also, we'll have to load up some more pallets of trees and replant some more. Because that's, you know, we gotta look after the environment now. We took all those trees out, we gotta replant them, you know. And for what it cost, I should play enough seasons where they get fully grown and we can benefit from uh, replanting trees. But we're gonna go park this at the cows area. Actually, let's pull in. No, wait, I can't do that here. I was to say, let's pull in where the ATM is, but the ATM is not actually at the store on this map. I kind of forgot where it was. So I just think we'll just go in the menu and have to borrow it. Yeah, we'll park this right here for now. Turn off the lights. So we're going to borrow a hundred grand. Uh, yeah, let's not. I mean, the interest rate really isn't that, you know, whatever. But <laughs> no, that's the wrong button. I want that button. And now that button. All right, so we got full rep with this guy, so we can't get the price any lower. We can't do field work here to improve it as it is. So we now have a major field, which in a day or so, uh, it should be the first day of summer, I think, is when it turns. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to mow that field up there, because that's where the equipment is, row it up, and then bring that equipment down here and then, uh, yeah, mow this nice field. So now the way it looks. That's a pretty decent sized grass field. And the uh, Clearwater BGA is right there. So what we're going to be end up buying, and I'm hoping, I was looking at it, I think our John Deere can pull this. It says 220 horsepower, our John Deere is 245. Yeah, should, so we don't have no hills to go on. Well, should I just buy it now and just get it over with? Alright, let's head to the store. We'll buy it now. Might as well, you know. Let's, let's spend some money. Uh, actually, let's go up the other way so we can open up that gate as well. So we'll make our money back in no time. See, do I want to? I think we'll just open the side gate. That way it's not on the main road, unlike the other gate, but you know what? It's a game, no biggie. Gives us plenty of room here, and if we want to, we can shoot across into the cow, where the cows are. Or sneak out here. I mean, why wait a day to buy this, this forge wagon when we need it anyways? I think it should hitch right to the bottom there, I think. Although I've been fooled before by looking at the back of the tractor saying, Oh yeah, that can hook up to that tractor, and then you go buy the equipment and it doesn't. Alright, so, I think what I'll do is I'll save the game first, <laughs> just in case. Uh, then I have to go in here, 
We'll borrow some more cash. Kind of hurts a little bit. We'll get up to 150. Loading wagon. I always say forge wagon. But it's a loading wagon. So it holds 50,000 liters, which is exactly what we need. Uh, no upgrades or options. Yep. Hello. Right next to me. <laughs> Alright. Please do tell me this, John. It should. I see the, the hitch for it, but that doesn't mean it will hook up to it. There we go. Now, the only thing that we don't have at the moment, now you can see the John Deere is struggling a little bit just to get powered up and get going. Like I said, we don't have any heels or whatnot to deal with. So the only problem that we will have when we cut the grass is when we get to the BGA, we got to have something to compact it all, maybe level it out. Um, since we need this in a day or so, we'll park it up, not outside, but we'll park it outside underneath this shed here. Oh, I can clip that part right there, huh? Okay. And then it gets stuck there. Who oh, no. Alright, there's a way around this. Usually. You know what? If at first you don't succeed, get a b bigger vehicle. <laughs> Although sometimes more horsepower does not mean nothing. I forget that the third wheel axle on this tractor does. The wheel does turn in the back. I don't know why I was trying to get it so close for anyways. We want to have that much equipment down here. There we go. Alright, I gotta bring the John Deere back up because like I said, the next thing we'll probably be doing on well, the next episode is mowing. We'll be mowing some grass, that's for sure. And what we'll have to do is get some of our artificial fertilizer uh, loaded in down here. Because then we'll have to start fertilizing that big field down here. And that will mean a bigger fertilizer spreader. But I may have to grin my teeth a, li grit my teeth a little bit for a couple days until we get our money back on this field. I don't want sprayers, fertilizer spreaders. That is 67,000. Which, I mean, it's not that bad. What's the working width on this? That's 24. That's double the size. 24. Oh, so the working width is the same on these things. 24, 24. It's just how much it holds. So we may go with this one right here. No, no, no. I don't want to buy it now. I don't have... Uh, I don't have the fertilizer for all that stuff yet. But now what we're going to do is uh, head back up to the main farm again. We're going to hop in our New Holland and we're going to go... I think we can fertilize the grass field again. It should be ready for it. So I'll see you up there with the New Holland and we'll fill up the fertilizer spreader and get to work. Refilling up our New Holland. It wasn't. It was down to about a third of a tank. So I thought, well, we're going kind of buy it, and I want to see how much fuel we got for our Volvo truck. I think our Volvo truck's going to hold 700 liters. I think. So we got enough fuel for that. So hopefully our cows can uh, get producing manure and liquid fertilizer, which they have been. We may have to take care of that shortly as well at some point. 
meaning taking some of their manure and liquid fertilizer to the processing plant so we can get more fuel, fertilizer, and all the good stuff. Uh, I'm not sure. This might not be ready for to be fertilized. I'm going to say no, it's not ready to be fertilized. What stage am I on that? Do I have all three stages? Does anyone remember? Because at this point, I don't. Second stage. I want to wait until the grass is fully grown before I can fertilize it. Alright. I, I knew that. Uh, these are all set to go. These I can't uh, seed just yet. It's going to be a busy next couple days on the farm after this episode because we'll probably be working these two fields here for cutting grass, rowing up, and we'll be taking stuff to the BGA, but we'll leave our new Holland right here. I did leave the engine off. No, it's on. So I think it's just a standard uh, BGA where we come in there. Got the Silo King. I usually tend to use the conveyor belts rather than using a bucket loader just easier with conveyor belts you have to get maybe like oh man I forgot see one two I think five in order to empty this whole pit and of course if you get real busy uh, I know on my last map Rattlesnake Valley I had four pits filled at one point just waiting for that uh, great demand on silage and I do have the mod that once you start filling it as long as you keep filling the silo king the price won't will not will not change I, I didn't like the way F, uh, FS 17 changed it where the price started changing the second you started filling it it wouldn't stay steady I kind of like the old FS 15 style to where the price would stay the same as long as you kept filling up the silo king so there is a mod for that. I got that so long ago. I think that might be on the mod. I'm not too sure. But the one thing we got to figure out how to do is I need the John Deere to bring the grass in. But I'm not going to have nothing to compact it in the meantime. So basically what I'll probably have to do is back up the John Deere and un unload it from the back to the front. And then compact it afterwards with the John Deere. And then as soon as this is ready to be sold, we'll buy some conveyor belts and get going and get our money back on it. And then maybe eventually buy a bigger tractor. And uh, still maybe not this year because we only we don't we won't have to seed any fields again this year. Maybe we can in the fall, but eventually we'll be able to buy the bigger seed drill and of course a bigger tractor for all this equipment. I'm just running over to our grass field so we can take one more look at it. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to fertilize that grass field up there today, but I was wrong. Alright, this is a longer walk than I thought it was, but you know, our farmer needs his exercise. You know, our other farmer in Farmer's Dynasty, he gets his exercise, so <laughs> this guy could use some exercise as well. Although I am curious, how much more of a loan could I take at this point? So I could borrow another 55000 so we can borrow up to another, so we can get up to seventy five, which is good because I'm, we're going to need conveyor belts. And when we mow the lawn, we yeah, mow the lawn, mow the grass down here, the John Deere will do the mower and the New Holland will follow behind with the windrower and uh, road up into a nice row. Then we'll go back around the John Deere and pick up the grass. I wonder how long it's going to take me to mow the field with that mower. So also in the future, depending on how much money we get off this field by selling grass, I do have... Where are the mowers on here? Is that under mowers? Yes, yeah, so I do have this right here, but I do believe there's an updated one. Well, I'll have to see. I've had this mod for a while, and I don't think it's up. This hasn't updated for a while, but some people said there's updated ones, so I have to check on that. How wide is? 
So that's nine meters. Does it say the working width on this? Yeah, so this is wider. But the good thing about this, this when it, yeah, it is a mod. So when it mows, it just leaves one trail up behind it, not three like we will with these, but that's fine. That's more than fine. Let's see, 50, 60. Yeah, I was just thinking, okay, if we sold this for 50, could we, nah, 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 that, no, not, not yet. That's getting way ahead of ourselves. Way ahead of ourselves. But since we got a little bit more extra time than I thought, because we're not, we're not uh, fertilizing, I think what we'll have to do is run over here to get our tanker. Grab some liquid fertilizer yeah, uh, from the moo cows, liquid slurry. It's like our mixer ran out of hay. We do have 51,000. That's quite a bit for a while, actually. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that just yet. I would like to buy some more cows so they can produce more, but really we have spent so much money today already and we got a loan going now. Until we mow that field and get our money back from selling it at the biogas plant. And we will get a lot of liquid digestate which we can bring to our bioprocessing plant as well. Alright, open that up. Fill her up. Probably not much in there. He says as it fills up with more than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like 2,000, but I almost got six. So that's not bad. Actually, we also got milk. How are, what's the prices on... Well, we're up to 32,000 liters of milk. That's pretty good. I might as well just keep going this way. Uh, did I just go past it? Milk. Yeah, prices. It's, it's amazing the difference of the prices here. But that's fine. Although we will be gathering some eggs tonight. That'll be, you know, a, a decent amount. It's not going to break the bank or anything, but, you know, it's income. We want that income. Yeah, I'm, I just love how that little car just pushed my truck and a tanker. It's got some weight into it and just bounced me around. That's something they didn't uh, say they really changed in FS19. Was the AI traffic? I guess it's my fault. I don't have my hazard lights on right now. But once again, our, our farm has greatly grown today with that grass field. And of course, with a big field means, you know, a lot more income when it comes time in a day or so. I didn't leave myself enough room, did I? Yes, I did. And like I said, this is not going to make great strides in it, but it's something. We kind of need every little bit that we have. I think we took all the fuel last time, right? How much? How are we doing an artificial fertilizer? Actually, we got quite a bit. Actually, we got a little bit of fuel down here as well, as well, and that's liquid fertilizer. Well, that's something we can do probably in the next episode, because I think it's about time we wrap this one up. Not much farm work in today's episode, but a lot of uh, selling and buying, basically, is what this episode is going to be. I probably should have left the tanker there, because I'll probably have to... Oh, well. 
We'll bring it back and park it in the garage like one should. I don't think we'll be needing this truck. I'm trying to think, do I need the truck for anything for a while? Not really. It's pretty much fertilizing and cutting grass for the next couple episodes, I think. See how see how that goes. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to mow that field. Like I said, we'll mow the field with a John Deere. And we'll get the New Holland to follow us. Windrow it up, and then we'll go back with the drive on the John Deere. Hopefully the John Deere doesn't struggle with the loading wagon. But it's all flat ground, so it should be okay. And before you know it, when we start cutting that grass, bring it to the BGA, we get a whole bunch of silos and start selling it. You know what? We're going to tidy up our farm as well. Logging, I'm, pre I'm logged out. I've made a lot of trips selling all those logs up there to get the cash. To help us financially to get that field today. I said, well, the longer I wait, you know, I need to buy it. If I buy it this year, we can cut it. Oh, okay, I can't back up worth a darn today. The longer I wait, I, you know, the less chance that we can mow it three times. Two times will be full grass. The third time we mow it, you know, may not be really worth it. But that's such a big field. Close that up. It's too bad the Volvo doesn't have a PTO on it. Well, we could, <laughs> you know, we could use that. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. We're out. So I just want to double check on the animals before we uh, call it a day. So they're making their first, their first uh, pallet of wool. So we'll start stockpiling again for next spring. Uh, so they're looking good for a day or so. They're looking pretty good for a day or so. Maybe power food tomorrow as well. Holy crap. The first day of summer is going to be compact. We may have two or three episodes just on the first day of summer. We got to see two fields. We got to mow that field up there and tet it, row it up, bale it, mow this field. You know, bring that to the BGA. I think it takes like a day and a half, two days to turn the silage. So it's be like the third day of summer before we start making our money back on it. But, uh, yep, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I spent enough money so you would. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you did enjoy the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And until next time, next time on the Pacific Northwest, have a good one.